Welcome back. Thanks for pressing on the video. Maybe you should watch it all the way through. Greatly appreciate it. Maybe you could also like subscribe, you know. Anyways, today we're gonna talk about, um, or we're gonna, I'm gonna go into kind of starting a YouTube channel. Oh my God, the ladybug's moving. Oh, it's crawling. Oh my God. Okay, we're moving our spot. All right, we're in here. I've never sat in here. Well, I have like once, but. <laughs> that wasn't a very good video, actually. Actually, no, it wasn't bad. Anyways, yeah, today we're gonna talk kind of, um, I guess tips, maybe kind of like what it's like, I guess, because <clears throat> there, I don't, I think it's a girl. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. Um, she was really, really, really sweet though, and she actually made an edit of me, and I kind of love it. You know what, actually? I'm gonna put it in the description so that you guys can all go watch it. Um, so, I put out a thing asking what kind of videos you guys wanted to see, and she wrote on there about how she just turned 16. And you know, she wants to start making like long form videos. So I was like, that's so awesome. Happy belated birthday, by the way. And that's so awesome. Crazy. So I was like, I have to do this. Plus she said like I was a big inspiration for her and that is shocking to me to hear because I never thought I would be an inspiration for someone, but apparently I am. The first thing I want to say is it's definitely a lot of fun. I tell everybody that. Um, it is so much fun. Okay. And I'm sure that once I have, you know, more of a following, it'll be even more fun. Actually, today in school, and I swear on my life, if anybody or that kid sees this video like from my school, I'm sorry, I just thought it was hilarious, but I was in my second period and we were doing some like group work, right? And whenever we were working on it and this kid he turns to me and he's like, you know, he goes, he goes, I saw your TikTok and I was like, Fuck, what fucking TikTok? And, and, and he's like, he's like the one with like the 400,000 likes. And I was like, which one part? Which one? I have like five TikToks that went viral. Which one are you speaking of? I was like, which one? What do you think it's in our group? He's like, what do you mean which one? I'm like, well, there's multiple. And I was like, oh my God. Then I realized that it was the one with like a million views and I was like, oh my fucking God. Okay, these kids from my school are seeing my TikToks, which means they're probably seeing this shit too. So that's fun. One thing I want to say first is just don't be scared. Don't be scared because I'm not going to lie. I've wanted to do this forever. I've said that in so many other videos. This is something I've wanted to do since I was like super, super, super small. Like I was like a child, like such, I was like a, I was a fetus, man. Like I was so tiny. That's fucking awesome. I need to do that. Obviously I didn't swear because I was, I don't know how old I was, but I definitely probably didn't know what swear I was yet. That's a lie. I'm gonna stop responding to my own things. Yeah, you can't be scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. It's not worth it to be scared. It Being scared won't get you anywhere. And I know I'm not really anywhere yet, so I really shouldn't be the one talking, but you have to have confidence in yourself. And honestly, I know I actually post a lot. I do post a lot. I post four videos a week. And that's a lot. And a lot of my friends are like, Victoria, like, like, don't. Like, just do once a week. You don't need to do it four times a week. I like doing it four times a week. I like that. And I'm once, you know, I have steady people watching and people subscribing, then obviously I might make it three because back to back is a little bit whatever. You just, you just, you just gotta have like confidence in yourself and you'll do it and it'll be great. Um, it definitely is slow. It's very, for some people and it hurts me especially because I was even today, I went into YouTube to post a short because 
those tend to do very well but i know that a lot of those people who are watching those shorts will also go and watch the long form videos as well so i just want to kind of you know get my watch hours up there and get more views coming in and um get more subscribers so that i can you know reach my goals faster because i actually really stopped posting shorts for a super long time because i want people to watch my videos but i realize that that's gonna take a while for that to happen but it is it is really slow and as i was going to say um i was on youtube and i went in to post a short and because last time i was on youtube i was on shorts when i opened youtube instead of my like regular feed it was in the shorts category and some random girl's channel popped up and the video had like a hundred and something thousand likes and i was like oh like that's cool let me whatever i like tapped on her account and she only posted the youtube shorts which is definitely how she got so many subscribers so fast but she already had like six thousand and i was like oh well, like maybe she's been doing it for like a year or something or whatever stab me in the fucking heart and leave it there because i go to the the about section to like because it tells you when the channel was created fucking created the channel two months ago already at 6,000 subscribers fucking kill me please leave me there to fucking bleed out and die like oh that was really aggressive and really vulgar and i'm really sorry but i was like are you kidding me and this is gonna come across as really 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 rude and don't get me wrong i'm not trying to prey on people's downfall or you know like not be happy for them because obviously like if you reach there like, that's great that's awesome but the fact that like you know i sit here and i put all this effort into my videos and i'm filming all the fucking time and i'm editing all the time and i know like my parents don't think this is important at all but i'm still doing it because it's important to me and this is something that i want for that and then they only get like 80 views and then i've been stuck at 500 for like a month and a half meanwhile this girl who just started her youtube channel two months ago is already at 6,000, and it hurts i won't lie it hurts because like you know no offense but the shorts aren't that much work dude it's just like a tiktok it's just like a tiktok and i know it sounds rude because i sound like i'm praying people's downfall but i'm really not it just kind of hits me the wrong way you know but that's not to, you know, say that there are, that people won't watch their long videos because there definitely are. There are so many YouTube channels I've seen and all they do is post videos and their videos get a couple thousand views. And that's great. That's great. That's amazing. I would kill for that shit, bro. So, don't let me scare you like that. I am not don't mean to do that. I don't know if that's whatever that is. Stop. No! Enough! Oh my god. Um. Yeah, don't let that scare you from, you know, wanting to do it because I'm sure yours will be successful. Probably more successful than mine, honestly. Um. But yeah, I guess. Mm, just you gotta have confidence in yourself and just remember that like great things take time okay nothing's gonna happen as fast as you want it to and i have definitely i'm always coming to terms with that because like i said i'm scrolling 
I see some girl who's maybe 13, 6,000 subscribers, 10,000 subscribers, 20,000 subscribers, and I'm like, oh, great. How long has it been? Three months? Four months? Huh? Two? One month? Wow. Fuck, dude. Like, I... Um, but yeah. Things take time. Also, burnout is very real. And I have experienced it multiple times within my... How long have I been doing this? Seven months? Eight months? Something like that? I have experienced it multiple times while doing this. Um... Not only that, but I find myself kind of getting discouraged from it a lot too because I see those things with like these other people who are, you know, getting these thousands so quickly and I'm kind of stuck over here. What can you do, honestly? Things are going to happen the way things happen and it's just the way things go. But if it's something that you really want and this is something that I really want, um, I know that you will find a way to do it. And I know that you, the universe will eventually, you know, help you out and help me out and help out everybody else who wants this. And, you know, we will be successful. We will be successful because there's just no doubt in my mind that that's what's going to happen. And listen, you don't need crazy expensive equipment to start a channel. There have been multiple videos where I've actually filmed them on my phone. Okay, film on your phone. Nobody said your camera had to be $4,000 with a, you know, $500 microphone and this tripod and this crazy setup. Film on your phone. Edit with iMovie or CapCut or whatever. I've done that so many times. So many times. Too many times to count, actually. You don't need anything crazy. You know, if you have something that you want to show the world, go ahead and show it. Simple. And your videos don't have to be crazy. You know, you don't have to come up with these crazy ideas. You want to do a little vlog of a certain part of your day? Do it. You want to show your morning routine, show your night routine? Do it. Okay? You want to give people advice? Do it. You want to talk about something? Do it. Talk about whatever it is you want. It's your platform. It's your space to do what you want. <clears throat> I think mainly what I want to say though is just that... <clears throat> I'll put a list. Things take time. Okay. It's going to be slow. Burnout's real. Take breaks if you need breaks. And advocate for yourself on all platforms. If this is truly what you want, you need to advocate for yourself on those other platforms. Create a TikTok. Create an Instagram. My friend, go, just the other day, my friend Emily, she goes, she's like, you should create like a public Snapchat. And I was like, yeah, sure I should. Great. Me, I'm going to do that. You know? Create these other platforms for yourself and have them and, you know, advocate for yourself on them. Make friends and, you know, talk to other people within those platforms who will then go and advocate for you, you know? The way I look at it is, like, fan pages are really, really, really helpful. Well, yeah, they kind of are helpful. For example, I'm going to use a triplet as an example because... Obviously, why not? They, their fan pages helped them out a lot. That's how they got, you know, 5 million in, what, three years? Which they totally deserve it. Don't take that the wrong way. But their fan pages are like the reason that they got where they are. And that's great. That's not a negative thing. That's a positive thing. You know, speaking for myself, I have two fan pages. They're not super huge, obviously, because I myself don't have a large following. So those obviously aren't going to gain a lot of attention because nobody knows who I am. But those fan pages still help out. You know, because they're still doing things and they're still kind of editing you and they're still whatever. And they're still putting you out there to more people. TikTok helps a lot because it's not hard to grow on there quite quickly. If you can get yourself into the algorithm and the algorithm is a big deal because if you don't get yourself in the algorithm
the algorithm is a big deal. You know, you got to figure out your way into the algorithm and how to stay in there. Do things that are trending. Being relatable is a big one. Because that was how um, my first, one of my TikToks, like my first viral TikTok, that's how it went viral. It was a relatable TikTok. People like things that are relatable. Um, get Especially if people repost your stuff. When people are reposting your TikToks and adding their posts to your stories, that's a great way to, you know, get that exposure that you need for people to start, you know, knowing who you are. And I'm not going to lie. Does that happen to me? No. But it's still a good, a good great, it, it can help you out so much. You know? It's slow, but it's worth it, okay? And I believe in you. And you can do it if you want, obviously. So before I go, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And this is <clears throat> a huge request. I want somebody to make a fucking amazing edit of me. Because I saw this edit this morning of the triplets. Chris, specifically. Dude, it was so cool. It was so cool. I don't know how to explain it, but it was so cool. I need somebody to make a fucking amazing edit of me. Somebody make a cool ass fucking edit of me. And I've had some really amazing edits. I'm not gonna lie. There have been some really good ones. I need a fucking amazing ass fucking edit. Because when I tell you, my jaw was dropped. There have been times, honestly, where I'll even like see like a fucking like mad edit and I'm like, the fuck bro, <laughs> what? Like, you guys are amazing, you know that? And especially because like that shit takes time, dude. That takes, anyways, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so, 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 so much. Mwah. You know what I'm gonna start saying? Literally like post your favorite part of any of my videos and just like fucking tag me, okay? I need some exposure. I'll shout you out or whatever it is you want. I'll follow you back or whatever the fuck if any of you guys are even like fans of me like that. I'll literally do it. Just help me. Help me, please. Help me, please. <laughs> okay. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your day, week, afternoon, and I'll see you guys in the next video.